So I learned something rather interesting about blogging in general. It is much easier to enjoy a holiday when you're not trying to figure out how on earth do I set up these shots? How do I get these done? In fact, I have concluded if I want to do more daily blogging and getting some of this stuff, I really need to practice a lot more. I need to find some more time to learn how to use the equipment better because I think with practice that's going to get easier. And I do like the fact that I went ahead and I made a checklist for myself of what shots I wanted to get and so on. But, mm, not so good on me. I didn't really plan properly for how much time it would take to get them, and there were a few that I didn't realize just how awkward they would be. So, while I said that the NaNoWriMo videos, which are just me talking like this, are not my best in my opinion, they aren't the worst. However, some of the footage that I took yesterday is quite literally the worst I've ever done. So I'm going to reshoot some of that and then I'm going to set it aside and I'll be early for next year. I think that this is the way I'm going to try to do some of these videos. If I know what's going to be happening, sure. For some of the more slice of life thing, I think I'm just going to have to get more comfortable maneuvering the camera and such like that and that will get better with time. I do find it hilarious. I may include a little bit of that footage just because it got so bad. I was trying to uh, film the pouring of the uh, hot water into the tea and there was no place to set up the tripod because it's a small kitchen and I kept having problems with getting it to set up and not fall over and my darling kitty Sophie in this case was so fascinated with it and kept taking it out from behind and I didn't want it to fall and break so I thought it's okay I'll just hold it. I can hold with my left hand and pour with my right. Well no apparently I can't but I got some interesting shots of the stove without the cup. <laughs> But, you know, it's okay. I'm going to uh, see what I can do with it, and it, it still was a really good experience. I'm glad I tried. I did get all of the shots that I wanted to get, though not in the quality I wanted, and I think this is all part of the learning process. As far as writing goes, I think it's also continuing to go well. I'm really enjoying these stories. I have concluded I'm very much a fade to black, fade to emotion kind of author. And, you know, I still get detached if I try to write too much about uh, intimate scenes. Uh, particularly when it starts becoming uh, more graphic, it just it pushes me away, and I don't really like that. You know, I I don't want to keep dealing with that. I'm going to continue researching the why and working through it because I know that's not exactly normal. But I think right now um, I know what my niche is. I know how to tell the story well, and I'm actually getting really excited as I've been going back through uh, Wilderness Untamed and proofing and polishing. And yes, I'm still fiddling over a few scenes, but I'm actually getting really excited about letting this one go. There are some parts that I just really, really enjoy. And aside from one of the romantic relationships coming to the forefront and uh, things starting to take root there and dealing with what does forgiveness look like in a situation like this where obviously the damage is irreparable, but I'm also so excited about the transformation that Matthew goes through as a character because he changes from this uh, young boy who became an ayaman and who you know he's known for being like one of the youngest and he idolizes his older brother and he is just so focused on being a good ayaman and yet then it's pulled into conflict as he sees some of the the bad aspects of his country, of his fellow Yaman, and of individuals whom he greatly admired. And this is even more traumatic for him than it is for Amelia because he literally grew up here. This is his whole world, literally. So seeing what happens with him, even though all in all it's a relatively small part of the story, Matthew's story and his transformation to what he becomes is one of my favorite in the series. He's just one of those little secondary characters who works his way up and becomes a primary character later on. So as far as the uh, 12 books in 12 months, I'm going to be talking more about that tomorrow. I'm still trying to prioritize which books that I want because I'm not going to be counting uh, in, no, I've already written and released Enemy Known. I'm not going to be counting um, Wilderness Untamed or Ragnarok Unravels in that. Even though both of them will have over 40,000 words worth of new content, I'm just not sure that that's really within the spirit of what they want to do. And so, that's okay. I think that I can still do it and it'll be good. I really do want to see these stories finished to the best of my ability and I have so many hopes and plans for next year.
So I'm going to wrap this video up for the day. Feel free to tell me what is it that you're reading right now? Is it a story that you've already read or maybe it's a new one? And feel free to include a link. And yes, if the only thing you're reading right now might be your own story, as a couple authors have told me, feel free to include that, but include somebody else's work too. So thank you so much. I will talk to you all later. Bye.